Friends, Doc South here with yet another video blurb for you. Uh, done quite a few of these now, Dog Hunter, I'll tell you, and enjoying every minute of it. Honestly, I do. It's a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying them too. My advice to you is uh, do some video blurbs of your own. You'll find them, uh, I, it's kind of fun to recall the different things you did in life. And well, one case in point that I often don't talk about is that, and I'm, I think I'm going to start, uh, is uh, my time at college. Yeah, college. K-O-L-L-E-G-H-E, -E, something like that. Uh, yeah, I was. I went to um, Ohio University. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, enjoyed it, I guess. They, they tell me I had a great time. Um, I know, um, and the, the nice thing, well, it wasn't so much the classes. It was the, uh, oh, some of them were okay. But the, uh, the big thing was uh, getting to meet people. You know, all the different folks that were on there on their way to learning uh, this and that. And yeah, it's it kind of fun. The, the teachers and all were uh, rather, uh, well, somewhat cool people. Yeah, yeah. And um, I remember one friend of mine, uh, a fellow named Denny, was a geology major. That was one thing you always asked people. Uh, it was a great opening line when talking to a girl. Uh, was, what's your major? You know, and that, that opened up a whole... A uh, nice ball of worms. You could have a conversation on that for a good half hour and, and then ask for a date and get turned down. <laughs> but uh, yeah, at Denny though, uh, and with guys, it was sort of the same thing. You know, at least you, 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 you found out what different people were learning and studying. You, you never knew when it might serve you well to know. And again, one of my friends, Denny, a geology, a geology major, a freshman like me, and I recall um, uh, we, we were sitting, we ate at the same uh, cafeteria. Yeah, it was like a, dorm, a, a, a communal dormitory cafeteria. Denny was at one dormitory, I was at another. So, uh, girls came in from their dormitories, you know, and all that kind of. Yeah, and we all kind of sat there and ate. Uh, football players were the bouncers, so no one acted up. <laughs> and uh, I remember sitting over with Denny one day, and we're munching away on some kind of food, and heaven knows what. Meatloaf, probably. They made meatloaf a lot. Well, it's a big thing in Ohio. And and it's usually pretty good. And actually, at, at, a, at a Shively Hall, it, 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 frankly, it weren't too bad. So anyway, we're knocking down some meatloaf. And uh, I, Denny was saying, you know, says, Doc, you know something? He said, they're... Uh, I says I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, uh, one reason I, I came here to Ohio University, Athens, Ohio, southeastern Ohio, was there's a lot of fossils, and I'm kind of into fossils. I'm hoping that to be my to make that my eventual my my major. I said, well, cool. I said, what fossils are around here? I always like going for fossils. Back where I lived, there was trilobites, which looked kind of like horseshoe crabs, only. Uh, uh, no tail. And he said, yeah, he said, I'm sure I know trilobites. You ever find any? I said, on occasion, you find a piece of one or something. You never found a whole one. He says, yeah, they're pretty hard to find. But I said, well, so what's around here? And he says, well, giant ferns. I said, giant ferns? You mean like, uh, like dinosaur-sized ferns? He says, yeah. He said, there were ferns back here. Uh, he named a, an exact a, a million amount of years it was ago. And um, he said they were like the size of trees, but they were ferns. In fact, he says that's uh, when a lot of that, as they collapsed they'd, uh, and decay, that's eventually what became coal. I said, you're kidding. Ferns, huh? He says, yeah, and you, you'll find there's coal deposits all around here, but the, some of the ferns actually turned into like, uh, you know, rock. Uh, they, some limestone kind of rock. I think that's what he said was limestone. He said they don't look necessarily like coal. Some of them do. Some of them turned to coal. Some didn't. I guess some may have, well, along with the, maybe they turned to gas along with the dinosaurs and the oil. I don't know, he says, but well, that's next year's lessons. I said, okay, but so you got, you got giant uh, ferns around. Yeah, he says you find them, uh, you'll find sometimes a fern stump or a fern leaf, a giant fern uh, um, like a like a disc, like a checker shape. He said, "Yeah, he said you should see." 
I said, well, I'll be doggone. So where are these things? Well, he said they're evidently, Denny said they're evidently all around the place. We ought to go out maybe on, um, maybe on a, um, a weekend or a Sunday or something. Maybe we could head around and, you know, travel the area, see what we can find. You got a car? I said, no. How about you? He says, no. Well, he said, we got thumbs. We could hitchhike. I said, okay, we'll do it. I know. Well, it was different times then. I, yeah, and uh, we, we thought, well, hitchhike will be perfectly safe. <laughs> what could happen? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, I, all in all, uh, we were right in uh, assuming that uh, hitchhiking, you know, people picked us up, talked with us. Well, so a lot of the Ohioans were kind of like the Carolinians. Yeah, they uh, friendly, decent enough people. Oh, there was a few wise guys that <clears throat> stop about 100 yards away from us. We'd run up to their car, and then they'd peel out laughing. Uh, there were some people threw beer cans at us, but <clears throat> luckily they were full beer cans. And, uh, the, um, and you know, so we, we were having ourselves grand old time hitchhiking. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. No pretty girls seemed to stop. Uh, probably smart, probably smart. And the, uh, but eventually we were heading south out of Athens, Ohio, where Ohio University is, and we're heading for a town called Pomeroy. Got down to Pomeroy, and uh, Denny said, and that's right along the Ohio River. There's all these cliffs and stuff overlooking the Ohio. Denny said, yeah, he said, looking at those formations, he said, there's, this is the kind of rock you find those doggone uh, fern pieces in. So we're looking, I said, man, I don't see anything. And he says, well, we just got to, let's find, here's a farmhouse. Maybe the, maybe if we knock on the door, looks like enough people are home. They won't be afraid to come to the door. And uh, we, we knock on the door and ask and explain that we're students from Ohio University and that people said they wouldn't hold that against us. And <clears throat> what were you looking for? I think someone hollered, hide the women. Uh, well, but the, yeah, from inside. Uh, but they, um, that we said, well, no, we're looking for, uh, have you ever heard of something like, it's like a fossilized fern? They said, oh, yeah, they're all over the place around here. Uh, you can go up on our farm fields and look around if you want. I don't think we have too many here. You got to go a bit north of town. Maybe. They say, they're all over the place. Well, we, we, the, we're, people were nice enough to let us on their land, so we went looking. Uh, we let them know when we were leaving, and they... Uh, you know, they, the fact the lady gave us some, uh, says, you boys look hungry. Well, you college students, you ain't eating too well, are you? I said, no. She gave us a pie. <laughs> yeah, gave us a pie. And, uh, well, thank you, ma'am. And she says, well, you boys come back. You seem like good fellows to me. Okay. And um, so we, uh, we're we heading up north now. It's getting kind of towards mid-afternoon. We're thinking, God, we got about 30 miles to get to Athens we don't want to be hitchhiking in the dark. We better get rolling. But we'd been all over the place. And a lot of that, uh, to Pomeroy, we uh, we did a lot of walking. Man, I'll tell you, we were getting whooped. And it seemed like everywhere you searched, nothing. You know, along the highways, as the as our rides are taking us along, maybe a, an outcrop, we're looking. What do you think, Denny? No, he says, the guy's looking like, what, what are you guys looking for? Giant ferns, fossilized giant ferns. Never heard of such a thing. You sure? Yep. They say, yeah, they're around here. So I'll be doggone. You know, the, yeah, the, the driver's scratching his head. And, um, and uh, well, I'll be doggone. You boys, you, you college kids know just about everything, don't you? I said, well, we working on it. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we're, uh, but we're heading north now, figuring we, man, if, if, if anything else, it'd be nice to get home so we can eat at the door, uh, at the, uh, you know, the uh, communal dormitory, tell about our adventures. And um, maybe some girl will overhear it and we'll get a date. <laughs> I think it was about four or five months before we got a date from that date. Yeah. But in any case, the thing is, okay, so we're, we're looking for ferns, not women. Okay. Walking around there in a well, if there were some women around the ferns, I guess it'd be okay. But the uh, we didn't figure there'd be much chance of that. And the um, but we're we're riding along and one I don't know we're heading north with one fella, and he has to pull uh, he has to head off the road. But he took us as far as he could. We're back on the road again, thumbs out. But yeah, we're getting whooped, and finally and hungry too. And finally, Denny says, "Look, let's just rest a bit." 
uh, we, we'll, we'll just rest a bit. Let's eat that pie. And then we'll, I guess we better concentrate on getting home. I said, okay. So we, uh, we head off the, um, we head off the uh, road a bit, go in about 20, 30 feet. And we're sitting down on some tree stumps. And I'm just sitting there. We, Denny said, you got anything to cut that pie? I said, no, we just have to break it off. So we're eating the pie. And, uh, all of a sudden, you know how like in a in I Love Lucy, where Lucy would see something, she go and pie would go all okay. Um, well, then he goes and he go and look. Hey, I said what 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 I do? He's pointing at me. He says, "Look what you're sitting on." I said, "Well, well, I'm sitting on the same thing you're sitting on." He, I yeah, that's right, you are. Then he hops off whatever what the heck the stump he was on. He says, holy mackerel, he says, this, that's not a, that's not a tree stump. I said, it isn't. Sure looks like one. He says, that's a fern stump, a fossilized giant fern stump. Look at it. And you're sitting on one over there. I said, well, I thought we were sitting in the middle of where some guy cut a bunch of lumber, bunch of trees down. <laughs> he says, no, look at these. Now to look at them, he says, my God. And he's, he's like kneeling at, at, at of the one he was sitting at. He says, look, you can see the markings. There's the, this is a doggone, this is a fossilized fern stump. And if you look over there, there's a limb off of one. And there's, <coughs> he says, doggone it, if that ain't some of the, that's some of the leaves in the, encased in rock here. My God, we hit the mother load. We sat for a pie and there we are doing nothing. We found them. I said, well, well we got to thank that lady for making the pie. He says, yes, but oh my God. He says, how are we going to carry one of these home? I said, geez, I don't know. They, they, they were trying to lift one. My thing weighs about, weighs about 100 pounds. How are we going to lug this? He says, we got to remember this spot and come back, and um, which is indeed what we did. We kind of marked it. We put a little marker on the roadside there on the fence, you know, the, the guardrail, and uh, got to hitchhike. And luckily, a guy picked us up, took us into Athens, <clears throat> And um, we, uh, we, uh, yeah, we ran to our dorm and, uh, you know, to, well, to the, actually not to the dorm, to the, uh, to the library and looked it up and saw indeed, yes, that's exactly what we had found. Giant fossilized ferns. We came back later with a crew and uh, got a bunch of them. It was no one's property to speak of. It was just woods in the side of the road. It was, it, it wasn't being used. Now it's probably a shopping mall probably giant fern shopping mall. <clears throat> but so we, we didn't take them all, but we took we took some nice samples home. Yep, I kept one for a number of years. I I don't know what the heck happened to it. I know who would love it. Be uh yeah, you know who, the wife. Oh, Sandy would dig that. And um if she was going to school, we could have got a date for uh, easily for uh, uh for just handing over at least a, a hunk of those those ferns. They are pretty cool. Mm. And, uh, and, and they were, um, yeah, as long as we agreed to pay, as long as one of us agreed to pay for dinner, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, but it was, um, it was pretty darn neat, I gotta say. And they, uh, and again, we found it by just sitting on our duff, eating a pie. Sometimes these things happen, probably more often than not. You know, a lot of times, I don't know, I'll be struggling for a story to figure out and to write and, or a, a project to do, and I can't think of how the heck to get it done. And the best thing to do is just forget about it for a while and, and just keep it in your mind. And next thing you know, yeah, a twist of the story comes to you and it works out just fine. Or the project, yeah, just saying. Sometimes goofing off is, uh, should be you know, time on the clock. <laughs> right? Okay. Anyway, I'll see you, friends. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's absolutely true. I wish I had one of those ferns to show you, but I don't. The um, But they, uh, they're out there just south of Athens, Ohio. Head down the road a piece. Whatever road's going, I think that's Route 33. You, you head down about 15 miles and start looking. When you get into ravines, you want to get to where the water's been passing through, making a bit of a valley. Just a small valley, not a big one. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you later. Thank you. God bless. Keep your eyes open and rest every now and then. Sit on a stump and eat a pie. You'll be surprised. Okay. See you later. Bye now.